Hello and welcome back to Tungsten Tales and today I'm bringing you our very first review of the Challenge Tour. Throughout the year we'll bring you reviews of the Challenge Tour, Development Tour and of course the Pro Tour so make sure you hit that subscribe button not to miss a review and keep up with all going on in the world of darts. The winner of that first Challenge Tour event is Rob Collins, a name that is very prominent in the Oxfordshire area, he wins a lot of events down south and he has that Challenge Tour victory under his belt and this could do brilliant things for him. He could be on the Pro Tour being further up that order of merit. It was a great win for him on the Saturday in Wigan, winning Gordon Mathers in the last 16, a 5-3 victory, recording a 94 average in defeating Danny Van Tripe in the quarterfinals. And then, as he made the final, just a 87 average, but enough to defeat Adam Huckvell in a last leg decider. Rob Collins, a great victory, £2,000 jackpot for him and he may move on to the Pro Tour in a couple of weeks' time in Barnsley. The second winner on the Saturday, the, the tournament's going extremely late with the amount of entries we had over Q School, of course, and it's Scott Mitchell, one of the names I was a little surprised not to get a tour card, probably one of the better players, average-wise, not to quite make it onto the Pro Tour, but he's a, a Challenge Tour winner now and looks in a good place to be on that Pro Tour on the opening weekend. He actually defeated Rob Collins with a 103 average in the last 64, so the champion of the first event going out early. In the quarterfinals, defeating Australian Gordon Mathers, we've seen him in the World Championships. So a good and a couple of decent runs for Gordon Mathers. He seems to be getting his act together early in the year. And then the final, final defeating Andrew Guild, and we've seen him in the World Championship, the World Match Play. He's competed on all the big stages in the PDC, but couldn't quite get the job done in the Challenge Tour 2 final against Mitchell. Mitchell recorded a 98 average and a 5-1 win to make sure he gets on that first Pro Tour in Barnsley in a couple of weeks' time. The third winner on the opening weekend of Challenge Tour action in Wigan was Matthew Dennant. Probably most famous for having that dart at double to take Duzzer out of Q School in 2019. But he's got a title under his belt now, and an excellent title it was as well. Defeating Connor Scott in the last 16 with a huge 103 average. He's really capable of those averages. We just need to see it a bit more on a consistent basis, you may say. Um, coming through the quarterfinals as well, Gordon Mathers getting far again in the tournament. What a start of the year it's been for him. Didn't really produce at Q School, but seems to be doing a, an excellent job on the Challenge Tour. And then in the final, Nathan Rafferty going down to a last leg decider, drawing it out, all, all the tournaments going fairly late in Wigan, as we expected, to be honest. Not the best average, but a 5-4 win and a last leg decider. Can't really hope for much else. Matthew Dennant joining Rob Collins and Scott Mitchell as the winners in the first weekend of Challenge Tour action. In the final of the tournaments, the final of the four tournaments, I should, I should say, it's uh, Yitzi van der Waal, a name that you may not be familiar with, a name that I've seen around but haven't seen at the back end of tournaments over the past few years and months. He didn't run into any of the huge names over his run in the fourth tournament of the weekend, but did defeat James Hubbard in the quarterfinals, a 5-3 victory. Hubbard, of course, a former world youth champion. He picked up quite a few points and will be hoping he squeezes into the Pro Tour. But Yetzi van der Voel is a name to look out for, as you can see. He defeated Arjan Konterman in the final 5-2. Uh, just, I believe, an 87 average. His, his averages didn't creep above that 90 mark consistently throughout the day. But if you can average just short of that 90 mark and take out your winning doubles, it proves that you have got a place on the Challenge Tour and you may just have a place on the Pro Tour. So there are your four winners throughout the week, first weekend of Challenge Tour action. Yetzi van der Waal, Matthew Dennant, Scott Mitchell and of course Rob Collins. We'll have all the Challenge Tour reviews coming up with a couple, another couple over in Wigan over the coming months. Four, week, four tournaments a weekend, uh, that may be cut to two, you never know. But we will have all the action coming up on Tungsten Tales throughout the months.